Hello and welcome to the second episode of Physics with Mr. Bedwell. Today we're going to be going through the physics practical, thermal insulation. For AQA physics, it's only on the physics course, not the combined science. And this is what we'll need. So we will need a thermometer. Thank you, Alice. We will need a beaker of hot water. Thank you, Bob. We will also need different boiling tubes wrapped in different material. So we will need a boiling tube with nothing on for our control, with foam insulation, different types of lane, one layer and two layers, and other materials such as paper. Okay, and this is how the practical works. Bob, if you would do the honours. So you need to pour your water into your boiling tube, Place it into a beaker so it's nice and steady, and place your thermometer in. You will then need to record your starting temperature on a table such as this. And record it every five minutes, every couple of minutes, it depends what temperature you start at. Once you've done that, you can put it on a dry graph such as this. And we can see that over time the temperature will reduce. There are other things we can look at as well. You can also see how the number of layers of insulation affect temperature. That is where our boiling tubes of foam, think of, of two layers and one layer come in. We can do one at a time and record the results in a table and then record them again on a second graph. So here we can see. As the number of layers of insulation increases, the temperature remains higher with the more insulation, up to a point. The final thing you can do with this practical is try different materials. That is where the paper and the foam layering comes in. If you start with the same starting temperature and a table such as this, you can see how the temperature changes with different materials. Once you've done that, you can plot it on a bar chart. This links in with the thermal conductivity section of energy. The, more, the higher the temperature after five minutes, the lower the thermal conductivity, which means it is a better insulator. So those are the three ways you can look at how energy is transferred through different types of thermal insulation. 